Hey, 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 this is the second guard, aka Minister Cho Estate Farm. I wonder how many more vids I can include in this playlist. We are already at 28, maybe go till 40. And never mind, today let me show you an underrated farm, at least in my opinion. Uh, I say underrated because this place is perfect for some crispy old school shields like Shield of the Wing, Scar Shield, Round Shield, Bronze Shield, Wooden Buckler, and you can also get nice bow staves, even bladed shields. Any profession can do this, very easy, just bring a basic Sinet of Spirits build and let your spirits tank and do damage while you do basically nothing. The farm must be done in hard mode, monsters are level 23, so yeah, sadly no chance for Q8 max gold items, only white or blue ones. But don't worry, all fools are warriors, second guards to be exact, and their build is some lame warrior build, uh, so they won't cause too many problems. Not only unidentified old school weapons, but tons of iron ignots from salvaging the items. So if you're looking for some iron to craft uh, for concerts and a chill farm at the same time, this place is your dream farm. And also locked chests in this area, so don't forget lockpicks either. Alright, so once you have this build, hit enter mission and let's get ready to rumble. I like to use the legionnaire summoning stone, but it's only optional, if you don't have it that's fine. Spirits will do a great job. Anyway, during the mission we must fight alongside Togo and Jijo. Uh, they have some self heal and DPS, but I highly recommend you go front and let them camp in the back in safety. You know, they must survive uh, during the mission. And this place is like a tutorial area, so in the first two or three minutes you must wait for some dialogues and gates to open, but later things will speed up more. Regarding the build, I think best if you place your elite, blood song and vampirism first. Let them be the main tanks and put shadow song behind them. You know, shadow song is the lowest level of all. The monsters AI will always try to destroy it first. And once all spirits are in position, use armor of harm feeling. This way your spirits will be much, much stronger. They'll take like 50% less damage and get immune to critical hits. And when the gate opens, a group with painful bone, get behind the spirits and pick up the drops. Usually there is a drop or two from each group and I tend to salvage items as soon as I get them. And this way my inventory doesn't get filled up so fast. In this area go close to the minister guard or the next gate will not open and if you see the line there is something evil at work here you will know uh, you to trigger the dialogue and you can wait at the next gate. After around 60 seconds or so the gate will open and we can continue the farm. Repeat the same as before, place the spirits, put shadow song behind the other spirits and you know hex the most with painful bond and don't forget armor of unfeeling either. Many SOS Ritus don't know how to use it, sadly, but I hope you guys will. If you get a nice gold shield, cross your fingers. If the rack is 9 and 2 max modes, you won the lottery. If you are not certain, better check my OS weapon guide, the link is in the description. After this bridge, we get another dialogue and another closed gate. Togo will teach us how to play it safe and wait till the petrol goes away. After that you can aggro and these two guards will not move nor attack till Togo gets close to them. Ok now better if you stay ahead of Jijo and Togo. I was somewhat slow here but I will save the situation by placing the spirits around the NPCs. By the way Togo and Jijo have decent armor, they are somewhat tanky. I guess the developers made them strong to have the players in the first mission. After this crowded spot you can go on with the NPCs or you can aggro the groups on the light and aggro the patrol after. I stayed with them now but I will get the other two of course because we don't want to miss any possibilities for a nice OS item. I don't know if you've noticed, but we are already at 80 Iron Ignots, not too bad actually. And the next room is a boss tutorial area. The Afflicted Horror is a hammer boss. He may drop Plagueborn items, scrolls, Master's Fangs, Master's Eyes, so the usual Plagueborn things. But don't go too close, let the spirits block his attacks, and if your HP is low, get away from him. And when he dies, you know the explosion deals damage, and in his case, it's also doubled. 
After that only one group to farm and usually they are no challenge because the minister guards keep them busy. And you can go on and finish the mission if you feel like that, but those second animals don't drop anything and sometimes the chest spawns close to them, in that case I go there, but if there is no chest simply map travel back and you can do the farm again. And finally some pictures of my best drops, I've done around 40-42 runs and got a good amount of shields, a few bow staves too, but I think the best drop was this Q9 wooden buckler, plus 9 versus slashing and plus 45 HP by enchanted, this is worth around 1 arm race at the moment, so not too bad actually, and my best bow staff was this Q9 spawning power one, half cost time of spells, chance 10%, not too bad, maybe it is worth a few actos as well. So there is a gambling part of this farm, if you get the rare drop you will have a few arm races for sure, and if you are not as lucky, maybe just a few actos, and you know iron ignots are always a guaranteed drop. So guys, hope you like this quick tutorial, this was the second guard farm, good luck and get all those Q9 max shields.